Do not pay fake dealer markup or market adjustments. Markups are old news. It's just another fake feed to unfairly boost dealer profits. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with Amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Cars, they're a pain to buy, expensive to own, and a visit to the dealership is about as enjoyable as a colonoscopy. <laughs> Despite all this pain around cars, kids love to play in them, adults love to obsess over them. Like taxi drivers, dealers drive their customers away, but somehow they just keep coming back. So in the spirit of all things auto, buckle up for another The Homework Guy show as we take you back to school. Liz, start by explaining what exactly is a fake dealer fee markup and market adjustment. Wow, that was some intro, Kevin. The answer to your question is a fake market adjustment or markup is essentially just another fake fee that dealers devise to reflect a situation of low supply and high demand. As Kevin said, it's a profit booster and nobody should be paying it any longer. It can range from a few thousand dollars on commonplace vehicles and upwards of 50000 on high-end or limited production vehicles. That's just insane. I've even seen situations where the markup was 90000 bucks. Oh my gosh. During the pandemic, when there was hardly a car on any dealer lot out there, we left this subject largely alone. Right. As Elizabeth said, when demand outstrips supply, expect car dealers to mark up the price and add tons of extras. Yeah. During the pandemic, it became the new normal. However, the pandemic is over. Hallelujah. Ah. <laughs> the dealer markup is officially dead. Yep. Now, that doesn't mean that dealers won't be still trying to hang on to it for a while. They lie about <laughs> everything else, right? Right, right. But the time has definitely come to hit the brakes on these dealer markups and pound the market adjustment into the history books. Be gone with it. Yeah, it just needs to die and be gone. Unfortunately, this past November, still 41% of you car buyers out there buying a new car paid a price above MSRP. They paid the fake markup fee either out of ignorance or failure to understand the market, which after publishing 11 fake fees are a video, this is the single biggest fake fee that people are facing today, mm -hmm. often thousands of dollars. The minute supply issues started to ease and prices started to shift, a dealer markup became fake news, total nonsense. It should not have been paid at this stage of the market, but 41% paid it anyway. Hello, people. Well, dealers can be very convincing with their arguments for why they have to charge extra money. And yes, they won't easily give it up without a fight. But as Kevin has said, it's fake news at this point. Still, there's also some problem that some car buyers have so much money, they really don't care about wasting it. Like my old customer, Jeff, who'd show up at the dealership and said, Kevin, I have the itch to spend some money again. Yeah. And paying a market adjustment, a dealer markup, or any money over MSRP is just that, a total waste of your money. Yes, but it gets worse than that. This creates more than just wasted money for you at the time of your purchase. It also does harm that goes well beyond that person agreeing to pay the market adjustment because it justifies the fake fee, serving to initiate a snowball effect of losses for countless other buyers, you guys. It encourages the dealer to continue screwing people over. Such a great point. By any one buyer allowing a greedy car dealer to bend you over and demand more money out of you for their car, <laughs> you're encouraging a bloated car market to keep rolling full steam ahead. You're saying to heck with your fellow man and rewarding slimeball dealer practices, essentially saying, please continue, we can take it. It's like when the bully takes your lunch money, I guess. That's right. You have to stop this, folks. When you don't put your foot down and stop the nonsense, you're making life more miserable for every future car buyer who interacts with that dealer. This is a huge ripple effect. Yes, and I hope that you've noticed we're repeating ourselves in the effort to pound this message into your head. <laughs> You're this welcome. This is exactly <laughs> why you need to stop paying market adjustments and help us and help others put the nail in the coffin of the now fake dealer market adjustments and markups over MSRP. Literally every new car manufacturer is seeing increased sales right now. The semiconductor shortages are significantly in the rear view mirror. There's zero real argument that market supply and demand problems still justify higher prices. Don't be a fool, people. Everyone wants to see prices go down, but as long as we're reading headlines like this one, we know car buying habits are still desperately out of control. It says, new car inventories rising and prices falling, but not much yet. Dealer inventories reached the highest level since June 2021. Highest levels, folks, and this was published back on October 17th. Mm -hmm. That's the only evidence you need to see to understand we're dead on the money. 
Two new reports indicate that recent high prices could soon begin to deflate, and as we reported last weekend, it's likely to be mid-summer 2023 before prices are more in line with what they once were. If you want what's truly a good car deal, you're going to have to be patient and wait for it. Supplies across the board appear to be catching up to demand, according to Cox Automotive, which shows new car and truck inventories have reached their highest levels since early 2021, near the beginning of what became the semiconductor chip shortage. U.S. new light vehicle inventory reached 1.56 million units at the end of October, representing a 49-day supply. That figure is approximately 740,000 vehicles higher than September 2021 supply and up 290,000 from August alone. That's plenty of new cars available, enough to create an avalanche of car prices. We understand that the car market is far from perfect, and while supply chains battled many pandemic-created challenges, the car market has also endured political obstacles. When we look back to September 2019, well ahead of the pandemic problems, there were around 3.3 million cars in inventory, which was about a 65 to 75 day supply as compared to the 1.56 million or a 49 day supply like we have now. By the way, folks, we will never see 3.3 million cars in inventory ever again. Manufacturers realized it makes no sense to flood the market with cars. That said, everything is moving quickly in the right direction. Even better news, every one of you watching this today can play a role in helping that momentum continue and go even faster. How? By staying out of dealerships and at a minimum, refusing to support the fake markups. If you do go car shopping, do not forget you can help by refusing to pay a red cent over MSRP. No more market adjustment stuff, nope. folks. Help us and help everyone else to make it die on the vine. Cox Automotive-owned Kelly Blue Book also found that the average transaction price for a new vehicle dropped in September. The $48,240 average represented a small 0.3% decline worth 146 <laughs> bucks, but it was the first decline in five months. What a pittance. Yeah. But with interest rates up, average monthly payments went up too, meaning affordability of cars are actually getting worse. Right. And speaking of supply chains opening up, even Tesla is showing much improved response times to new vehicle orders. The lead time for a new Tesla has dropped to a few weeks or as much as 60 days. Tesla lead times were five times longer the same time last year. Honda's the vice president of sales was on record saying, while the auto industry seems to be hit by one challenge after another with transportation issues and parts shortages, the efforts of our dealers helped achieve strong turn rates that maximize the available inventory for our customers. Now the pipeline is getting stronger with the expectation that increased production in the fourth quarter, meaning now in 2022, will support important upcoming all new model introductions like the CRV, CRV hybrid and pilot. Let me repeat. The pipeline is getting stronger. Be patient, folks, and give it a little bit of time. Hyundai is another supply success story. Hyundai has been crushing it lately with new product introductions. Its award-winning Ionic 5 battery electric vehicle had a strong launch during the worst of times and continues to enjoy delivery levels on par with its peers. Here's what Randy Parker, Hyundai Motor America CEO, told Torque News. We have a strong product lineup. Our company has done an excellent job of keeping the pipeline moving along with inventory management coming out of Korea and our plant in Alabama. Through the challenges of fighting the pandemic and microchip shortage, Hyundai continues to make sure we are getting products to our dealers and taking care of our customers. Again, I repeat his comment. Our company has done an excellent job of keeping the pipeline moving along. Be patient again, folks. Give it a little time. Recently, we acknowledge that there are many good content creators who have joined us here on YouTube, and we do welcome them all, but I must caution people against putting too much confidence into creators who are in the business of publishing clickbait titles. For example, I laughed when I recently saw a video titled, Wait at least four to six weeks to buy a car and save thousands. Save thousands in four to six weeks? That's ridiculous. <laughs> yes, ridiculous clickbait. And that's another thing that needs to die. YouTube does reward the clickbaiter, unfortunately and those who clickbait really hurt us. I laughed when I saw that video too, but then it seriously pissed me off. So I checked it out anyway, because I was curious what they were basing such an outrageous claim on, because right. as we've already made clear right now, including the next four to six weeks, is a terrible time to visit dealerships. And that will be true for several months. The advice on the video drawing on typical year end deals essentially would be correct if we were looking at a traditional car market. Right. I'm talking about well before the pandemic. End of year deals were traditionally the best deals to be had, but the end of this year, it's far from traditional. 
and it will offer no real serious savings or deals that would appeal to any kind of a savvy car buyer and producers of the video totally know it but 102,000 suckers fell for it so the clickbait worked sending car buyers to dealers and giving them false hope of a good deal and thousands in savings is just irresponsible on so many levels what's worse folks it's not just us calling them out they are being chastised by their own viewers scott michaels recently commented on their channel these the sky is falling clickbait titles make you guys look like you'd do anything for views and likes so true so why would someone trust ya when you guys are being as shady as the dealers that you constantly rip mm -hmm. you're doing the same job of bait and switch that car dealers are doing they give you one price and when you show up the price is different you guys put out a gloom and doom title prices are plummeting or say big in four to six weeks yeah. but when you watch the video it turns out prices have come down some hypocrisy is not a good look or a good business model do better scott michaels we salute <laughs> you and loudly absolutely applaud you for calling out the absolute bs strategy of putting out clickbait titles all for a buck you got it the greedy former dealer hasn't lost the greedy character and deserves to be called out for it and amazingly folks they just put out a video admitting to the fact that zach has a specific strategy around clickbait all around concerns about money making as much money as possible because they grew their staff too fast and the weight of payroll is their excuse for dishonesty and many of you have fallen for their clickbait i've had my doubts for some time if the old man ever actually had a coming to jesus moment and a true awakening of his conscience or if these two were just here to turn a buck now that the truth is known the trust of many of you has been betrayed these kinds of videos are leading to a lot of frustrated viewers to this point after we made an attempt to compliment other content creators, even mentioning ya positively, we received a comment on a recent video from Suzanne Basta. She writes, in the market, looking for the past two months, binging YouTube and never been more confused. Totally. To our fellow content creators over at ya, you're embarrassing all of us and hurting all of our reputations. And you must knock off the crappy clickbait title. No excuses, Zach, knock the crap off. Making an excuse that you're beholden to YouTube, that you need the money, and blaming the platform for having a clickbait problem is pure BS. I'm wondering, did the old man totally lie and screw over his customers with the excuse, well, since other dealers are doing it and the dealer environment drove it, that he was beholden to doing it too? Yah is proving by their own admission that they were wearing the same mantle as the crooked dealers that they are pretending to warn consumers about. It's crooked, it's dishonest, and it's a betrayal of the trust that people put in you. And you have the audacity to admit it's just about the money generating ad revenue for you. We called out Yah on this before and got a little guff from our own viewers saying it's not a good look to be uh, chastising other YouTube viewers. Well, we received the very fake apology from Zach. Car buyers are already being hosed by car dealers. They don't need to be taken advantage by YouTubers too. Nobody should be treated to such nonsense. If you can't tell, Kevin despises dishonesty. One thing we promise we will never do here on the Homework Guy channel is betray your trust by publishing content just to get you to give us a view in the hopes of generating ad revenue. We are beholden to nobody, not to YouTube or anybody else, just the truth. We live responsibly, we grew our team responsibly, because Kevin and I aren't just advisors to car buyers, we are savvy business people who understand the responsibilities of running a smart business. The clickbait stuff from Ya does really piss me off. But honestly, I do hope they get their act together for the good of everyone. If not, they deserve to die on the vine just like a crooked dealer. They had the opportunity to be a good, reliable resource to people, not the fake counterfeit they've turned into. Okay, back on topic with a review of what we've covered on this video. Whew. <laughs> Whatever you do, folks, if you should happen to go to a dealer well ahead of the time frame we're suggesting, do not pay a red cent over MSRP. Follow in the example of our viewer, Bernard Hammonds. He writes, my wife had to have a new vehicle and ended up going new because the 2021s were more than the 2023s. Totally. And the credit union made the process so easy. Great advice, guys. I told them immediately take the markups off or else we are leaving. And they did so without a blip. <laughs> Good move on the credit union, Bernard. So folks, do yourself and your fellow man a favor. If you go car shopping, follow the example of Bernard and his wife and refuse to pay a markup. Move to another dealer if you have to and go further away from home if needed, but do not pay a market adjustment under any conditions. 
the dealer markup is dead. Yep. And if you can, the best case scenario is to be patient and wait until next summer. Just do it. Can I ask all of you to do us a favor? Visit our website at thehomeworkguide.com and leave us a review on our social media pages with a few thoughts on what you've learned over the last 13 years from us. Also, while you're there, you'll find information and links to order the X caps and AMS oil if you wish. It's where we will publish the info and links on those products for future reference. It's a great way to save on gas expenses and keep your used vehicles running in tip-top shape. 13 years on YouTube has been an unbelievable journey, folks, and we are absolutely delighted to say we've never published a video designed for clicks. We've never lied to you like the clickbait content you've received from Yah, and unlike the former dealer, we'll never betray your trust. I don't mind reminding you that I got fired for being too honest and then refusing to take down my channel that was helping car buyers. I was willing to pay the price for being honest. If you'd like to send us a tip showing your appreciation for 13 years of trusted service to the public, the links appearing on the screen will be easy to find down below in the description box. PayPal, Cash App, and now Venmo. So many of you have tipped us over the years. It's been humbling and mind-blowing. Yeah. We really appreciate your thoughtful kindness, and it does provide a good indicator to us to tell us how well we're doing and how much you appreciate what we do. Because you owe us nothing. Right. I also want to say something to disenfranchise viewers over at Yaw. You don't have to spend your hard-earned money on their membership to get help on your car deal, especially from a dishonest former dealer. Instead, I'm going to make you a very generous offer. Free help. Send us a text to 701-441-3399 with your name, and we'll be on standby the next time you visit a car dealer. We'll not let a car dealer rip you off, and we'll do it because we love our loyal viewers, and we want you to be taken care of, not betrayed. It's never been about a buck for us and never will be. All right, if you're new here at the Homework Guide channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. We welcome all of you to our family. And of course, please share our videos on social media because we aren't clickbaiters. YouTube hasn't done us any favors of late, seriously throttling our content down after just one day that it's up. Yep. Help us blow this one up, folks. Thanks everyone for coming back and to all of our faithful followers out there. You guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Once again, we're still earning your trust. See you next time. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.